Hi, my name is Pinsar Samarsekar and I run this pomegranate farm. So today I'm going to show you how to prune a pomegranate tree properly. Now the pomegranate is a tree which needs regular pruning. Uh, if you don't prune it properly, it will not produce the uh, expected harvest. So the ideal time to prune pomegranate tree is just before the rainfall uh, or uh, especially in the dry season because if you prune it in the rainy season it might be affected with fungal diseases so i'm going to show you uh, that this tree this tree is uh, approximately two and a half years old this tree is approximately two and a half years old so uh, there are a few techniques that you need to keep in your mind when pruning a pomegranate tree the first one is first uh, there are four steps uh, to prune a pomegranate tree. The number one step is you should begin with removing uh, the water sprouts first. The first step is removing the water sprouts. The second step is uh, removing the dead twigs. The third step is removing the tiny bushes which grows inside into the canopy. The fourth step is uh, cutting off the uh, lengthy branches, lengthy, lengthy twigs and, uh, decree, uh, and uh, making them shorter enough to bear a, bear a fruit properly. Okay. Now I'm going to begin uh, the pruning of this tree. The, the variety of this tree is Red Angel. Right, so the, the first step is removing the water sprouts. The water sprouts come from the down below, from the bottom of the trunk. Now, uh, initially, you need to keep like uh, three to four main, main trunks of the tree. Most of the commercial farmers, they keep uh, like two to three uh, main trunks but here we have kept like five main trunks it is not that advisable uh, if you if you are to maintain it properly the ideal main trunks uh, number is three maximum three right now uh, you, you need to leave the main trunks but uh, how to uh, I, I will tell you how to identify the water sprouts now this is a water sprout the water sprout comes uh, from the from the beginning of the root from the very uh, beginning of this root you know can you see this uh, can you see here now this is a water sprout these two and one two three i can see three water sprouts and there is a tiny water sprout here how to how, how to identify a water sprout properly recognize a water water sprout properly is the water sprout it, it uh, grows straight like a straight, uh, like an arrow. See, it's these these water sprouts have gone drawn like like arrows. It's just a very long, tiny twig. This water these water sprouts never produce fruits. So you need to remove the water sprouts from the very beginning. So don't let them grow it will uh, suck all the energy of the tree and it will get all the uh, water and it will hinder the growth of the main trunks so don't let the water sprouts to grow right now i have removed the water sprouts now okay now the next uh, next task is to removing the dead twigs now you have to look uh, you have to have a look very closely Come here. I'll show you the dead twigs now you can see this twig the all the leaves have gone the leaves are gone it's like a dead twig so you need to remove the dead twigs
and if you observe properly very closely you can see there are few dead twigs on the trunk as well here in this part also there are you know dead twigs these are these are dead the leaves are dead see the leaves are dead right so don't keep this dead twigs see and uh, this leafless uh, tiny twigs they they are mostly grown in the canopy no within the canopy in the inner layer of the canopy man kappadu konne kari pain da ne when you remove the dead twigs same mean same time you can uh, cut off the the tiny twigs which are grown into the canopy now the idea is to make the canopy in the outer circle of the pomegranate tree the idea is to let the pomegranate tree grow like this now when the canopy grows like this uh the sunlight and the air will come into the uh, tree and then the fungal diseases and the other diseases will be reduced when the sunlight and the air is obstructed uh then the fungal diseases will be more so uh now you can see there are a lot of lot of twigs they have grown in in the canopy now i'm going to remove these twigs which are grown in the into the canopy now see this is grown in the canopy i'm going to remove this and i don't like to keep a lot of bushes in the canopy now this you can see this they are all grown in the canopy now not the, not not outside the canopy these uh, twigs are grown into the canopy into the tree always the the twigs which are grown into the canopy obstruct the air and the sunlight so the idea is to remove most of the uh, twigs which are grown into the canopy so now i'm going to keep doing we are in the second step of the road removing the twigs which are grown into the canopy now see make me me at the video girl now i have removed all the all the twigs which are grown into the canopy in this tree in this uh, bush in a branch i'm going to take this branch as well now these are grown into the canopy not going to keep them going to reduce them okay big one going into the canopy now if you see there are like you no know, uh weak bushes weak weak uh, twigs you can remove them as well see this is not necessary okay and uh see it doesn't have any strength to hold up so i'm going to remove from here and i'm going to let this grow from here right and this as well don't like to keep this now see these are in the canopy for the maker thing eh? 
when they are kept unpruned they are very ugly and you can you can't even put your hand inside the canopy to even to uh, even to harvest the fruit all these uh, thorns will pick your fingers It will be a little lengthy video, but I hope you will keep watching because this is a very important thing to do. Uh, because most of the guys, most of the people, they tell that they have pomegranate trees in their houses, in their home gardens, but they never produce fruits. So this is the main reason uh, they will not to produce any fruits because they are not pruned well. Has to be pruned really well. Okay. Don't eat them. Pomegranate is very ugly when you are when you don't prune the tree. You prune the trees properly, they are really nice. Don't eat these as well as thorns. Please, if you can't, because you will injure your fingers when you put your hand inside the canopy. Okay. Right. I'm going to go to the other one. Start from there. Don't give up all this. Start from the bottom. So don't eat these uh, trees which are coming towards the ground. They drag the fruit. Uh, they, they, they slow. Uh, they need to go slow. Always eat the trees which are gone upwards. There are a lot of trees are coming. Uh, gone into the canopy. It will take some time to prune uh, a body bond tree. Now most of the uh, the twigs which are gone into the canopy is removed. Now the final step is to uh, is to reduce the length of the uh, twigs. The idea is to come here. Now if you see this twig, so there is a technique. Now this twig is growing, growing fast. If you keep this twig to grow like this, it will grow up to here and the, the strength of the twig is not that strong. It's really weak. What will happen is, if, it, uh, if a fruit comes in the uh, edge of the twig, uh, when the fruit is matured, the twig will be uh, taken into the ground. I mean, like It will hang into the ground. Uh, so the twig is not strong enough to bear the fruit. So the idea is to make the twig uh, uh, stronger and thicker. So when the twig is uh, grown like this, always you need to uh, select uh, select a juncture from here. Now you can see there are two twigs comes in this point. So uh, allowing these two twigs to grow. We have to remove this this part. It's removed. 
and always i told you not to keep the twigs which are comes comes uh, down to the earth always keep them up up on the up to uh, um, upwards now you can see this twig now it is grown like this like two two uh, feet it's grown now if you keep this uh, to grow like this it will grow up to here and once a fruit comes on in the edge of this twig it will be uh with the with the weight of the fruit this will hang to the ground eventually it might the twig might be broken uh, because of the weight of the fruit so uh the, since the twig cannot uh bring all the nutrition from the root towards the fruit we don't let this twig to grow like this so always you need to search for a proper junction and i can i i noticed there is a like up to here to here there is one feet so it's enough i'm going to remove this part it's not needed here this one also you can remove like uh, you can let this to go so there are like 5 inches doesn't matter keep it grow uh, let it grow like this here also from here to there there are like 2 feet it has grown i'm only letting this one to grow and i'm going to remove it from here so this is a this is a nice art you need to master this art properly now here it is like 1 feet long i'm only letting this two to grow keep this one and this one to grow and i'm going to remove from here here from here to there it's very long and i'm going to remove from here and this will this two will grow nicely here you can see it's too long and i'm going to remove from here and this will grow nicely you need to do it in every twig here the problem here is uh, from here there are few twigs i'm going to let only two to grow I'm going to remove some of them if there are too much here this will go like i, I can use from here right and uh, this is actually not a fully uh, uh this is not a full full pruning a full pruning means just before you uh, fertilize put fertilizer you need to do full pruning i'm not going to do the full pruning today uh there is no difference no much difference between full pruning and this light pruning in full pruning you, you are cutting most of the twigs and you don't keep any single flower in the tree You can take a little time, but you need to do it very carefully. in this foot thank you and you can see what i what i just told you before now this is a unpruned twig and it has uh, produced a flower from the at the edge and the flower has become a fruit now so since it uh, the twig has no much strength to hold this fruit uh, this will drag like this so i'm just letting it grow since it's a fruit anyway but uh, i'm sure it will not be a very successful big fruit but anyway i'm going to keep it now 
I'll be very careful because uh, the pomegranate tree is really uh, like, like corny and they are very sharp. Okay, nice. might miss a few branches, a few bushes here to there. That's okay. That's fine. Uh, now see, the air comes nicely uh, into the canopy. The tree looks really nice now. Okay. Okay, I'm done.